Hi, my name is Charlotte. Um, I'm the marketing director here at Da Vinci the Genius, the world traveling exhibition that is currently showing here at the beautiful Siobhan's Battery Museum at the buzzing waterfront uh, in Cape Town. Um, we have over 200 unique exhibits here at the exhibition, including um, 75 um, life-size replicas of his amazing inventions, including the first concepts of a car, concepts of an armoured vehicle, um, and the first concept of a submarine. We also have amazing replicas of some of his most famous art, including, uh, of course, his most famous uh, art piece, uh, the Mona Lisa. Leonardo da Vinci was a true genius. He was a, an artist, an inventor, a sculptor, a mathematician, a philosopher, an architect, a musician. Um, he achieved so much in his lifetime. Leonardo da Vinci was one of the first people to incorporate anatomy in such detail into his art. This exhibition is fantastic for learners and families. It's interactive. Children can yank, crank and pull the different machines um, and it gives them a real understanding um, of the scientific principles behind uh, Leonardo's inventions. It's fascinating. Leonardo inspired me because he seemed to be a very open-minded person. When other people thought that his ideas were unrealistic, he stuck to it. Well, I'm a bit of a history geek, I guess. So when I first got here, I was just overwhelmed with all this information. I mean, things that I'd seen in books and video games were right in front of me. It was unbelievable. It's really fascinating to see that one man could have designed so many brilliant inventions that were only created hundreds of years later. What I found most fascinating about Leonardo da Vinci's work was the scuba diving gear. It is funny how such a long time ago he had thoughts of such a weird design to breathe and walk underwater to attack the enemy's hull of a ship. We have an amazing, fascinating exhibit about the Mona Lisa based on a study done by a French scientific engineer where he invented this camera, this 24 million pixel camera um, that he took photographs of the Mona Lisa with uh, and it allowed him to un unravel the painting, peel back the layers and therefore discover how the painting was created in the first place and it shows what we now call the 25 secrets of the Mona Lisa. Um, a few of those secrets are that her eyebrows, for example, were painted originally and also that her hand was never finished. There are 22 other secrets that you can discover when you come and see the exhibition. Many of his inventions were never actually built, like the mega city. Those were just concepts. I personally think the most impressive work in here was the Mona Lisa. Leonardo didn't get to finish the painting as he passed away in the 1500s. What I find most fascinating about this exhibit, um, I'd have to say the tank. It, <laughs> it kind of looks like a UFO, a spaceship. Um, it's quite a weird contraption used in that time of Da Vinci, especially it's made out of wood. I don't know how that worked out on the battlefield. I also found fascinating the mirrors where I would see thousands of myself and it was <laughs> quite enlightening. Our exhibition runs here in Cape Town until Sunday the 23rd of March. After that we'll be taking it to Johannesburg where we'll be in Woodmead Santon from the 2nd of April until the 22nd of June. So we hope to see you there.